Hello? Welcome to the Eras Tour, where the cheapest ticket is still $1,000. And if you're inside the stadium, congratulations, you won the pre-sale war of 2022. Wait, what do you mean you're not coming anymore? I just got good seats here, right in front of the stadium. They just gave me a bracelet. Never mind, yo, props to the Swifties. Oh my God, thank you so much. You're awesome. Look, I know parking is expensive here, but you could just Uber or something. You'll be fine. Sorry, just doing a skip. <laughs> After filming that little intro, we decided to interview a couple Swifties. Susan, can I ask you a question for a video? No? They're looking for they were looking for tickets, so they're probably freaking out right now because the show starts in like 30 minutes. And after several attempts, we finally found somebody who was willing to be interviewed. Bueno todos, aquí estoy con Mario. Mario, eh, eres un fan de Taylor Swift, sí o no? Sí. Su hija. Su hija. ¿Cuánto le costó el parqueo? A uh, 85. 85. Mire, por 10 dólares. Dígame una canción de Taylor Swift. Ah, uh, una canción de Taylor. No me sé ni una. No sé ni una. <laughs> bueno, muchas gracias. Sí, se lo agradezco. And not gonna lie, my social anxiety got the most of me, which is why I handed the microphone to my friend Jeremy. My name is Jeremy Ocampo. I'm here with ABD News, and I am here with Ava, Carly, Kira, Camden. What is the most overrated Taylor Swift song? Oh, Shake Everybody it off. Was. Take it off. That's not over me. 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 That's oh, wait, a song. I found another one. Paper rings. Oh. Paper rings. Oh, I can say one. <laughs> okay. Glitch. Uh, I hate glitch. <laughs> wait, <laughs> what? Do you like glitch? Yeah, that That's my favorite good. song. What the hell? Are you guys seeing the concert? Or are you outside? Okay. We're a part of the low budget gang. Let's yeah. go. Back to you, Roger. You want to try to win this hat? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you name all of her errors? In chronological order. So we have debut, we have fearless, we have speak now, we have red, we have 1989, we have reputation, we have lover, we call folklore. I messed that up because we've had the reputation. Did it's it's lover. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, hello. Um, editing Jorge from the future here. So I just realized that she did not mess up. And I may have been zoning out, which is why I did not take note of that. So Andrea, I'm sorry for not catching on. Should have given you my hat. It's All right, thank you so much, Adriana. It's thank so nice you. to meet you. All right, thank you. I just heard the audience yell. I think she's about to get on. Hello there. We currently don't have tickets to the show, so we're gonna be pitching tent and chill here outside with all of our fellow Swifties. I've actually watched Taylor Swift twice, once during her Red era and once during her 1989 era. Tickets back then were like $70. And for 70 bucks, you can barely get parking now. That's my biggest flex. Oh wait, this is your song though. I know. <laughs> but hey, now I can say I've watched Taylor Swift for free during her era's tour, because living in LA is expensive enough. We were done enjoying the concert. We were dancing, singing, and there were so many people there. We got the best seats in the house. Hello, Ma. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I know you told me not to call you again, but I'm just calling you just cause. Damn. All right, love you too. God damn. Merch people. Sam won't talk to him right now. Go get him. Go, 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 go. Do you even Swift, bro? <laughs> Duh. A cuanto el hot Oh, a Uh. Support your street vendors. There are so many different kinds of people at a Taylor Swift show. The first are the hardcore Swifties. They not only know the lyrics of the songs, but also the monologues she says during the show. The second are the half fans. They only know the big hits and nothing else. And finally, we have the people who just don't care to be there. They're on their phones thinking about other stuff. Don't be that kind of person. Just don't. That's my TED talk. We cheated the system, guys. We got the 40 experience by tuning into a TikTok live stream. All right, so she's about to do the surprise songs. Let's see what we got. Hey, I'm a Swifty. I'm a, I'll admit it now, I'm a Swifty. Imagine she plays New Romantics. <laughs> you think I'd care? It's not like it's my favorite Taylor Swift song. <laughs> People in life are free! Yeah, she announced 1989 Taylor's version and everybody around us was so excited. And right before the concert was about to end, we got another interview in, probably the coolest one. I am here with... Jeff. The one and only Jeff. Are you a Taylor Swift fan? I am a Swifty through and through. Can I ask you a couple of tough questions or? You can. Yeah. For $10, can you name me one Taylor Swift song? Uh, Enchanted. Okay, there you go. That's for you, sir. Hopefully I can go for parking or something. For a bit of a backstory, Jeff was on a business trip here in LA while Taylor Swift was in town. And he decided to come check out the concert. And he was FaceTiming his kids, taking videos and pictures to send to them as well. And he also bought some merch for them. Yeah, Jeff is a cool dad. Be like Jeff, ladies and gentlemen. Cling. I didn't get this t-shirt from the merch booth. I actually got it from a street vendor outside for $20. That's it, yeah. <laughs>